I really wanted to be dead. I really thought I was a mistake. And I locked myself in the bathroom and I just grabbed a razor blade. As hard as I could, I just sliced it, you know, like that. And uh, closed my eyes and just waited to die. Cynthia Shaver never had the childhood she dreamed of. Her birth mother gave her up and she didn't fit in with her adoptive parents. Plus, she had a learning disability, which made it hard for her to succeed at school. Nobody understood me. When my mom told me that I was adopted when I was five, I wondered how, how could somebody, if they love you, how could they, how could they get rid of you like a piece of garbage? So I just started thinking I was bad, like, you know, bad little girls get thrown away. More than anything, Cynthia wanted to belong. If somebody wanted me, I was just happy feeling like being wanted. And so if it meant offering myself up and, you know, having a sexual experience, then fine, so be it. Even if the sexual experience was with another girl. Around first, second grade, I had um, met this girl who, who came to visit over the summers. And we ended up getting into her dad's pornography stash from old magazines. And so we started acting out stuff that we saw in the, in the magazines together. And I knew that it wasn't right. Yet, I felt like she was the only person that wanted to spend any time with me. And uh, that just ch seemed to have changed me. Um, I started getting extremely depressed. So I started drinking alcohol. Uh, the summer before I went into high school, I was sexually assaulted uh, by a guy who was about 25, 26. It's just not what I, it's just not what I had intended or planned. And from that point on, I just turned off. I just didn't care. Um, but then a rage really began to build in me. Cynthia began cutting. I hated myself with a passion. Um, I didn't need people to um, put me down because I did it fine from the time I woke up until the time I went to bed. The inner dialogue that went on in my head was, you know, I was stupid, I was not wanted, I was ugly. The only thing I was good for was sex. Cynthia started using drugs, ditching school, and habitually lying. Her illegal activity landed her in juvenile hall multiple times. I mean, I just lived every single day to party. She met an older boy at work who was just as wild and angry as she was. The two ran away together and with her parents' approval, married as soon as Cynthia turned 17. You know, we'd push each other. Um, we would, you know, throw each other in the walls, scream at each other, break glasses. Cynthia stopped cutting and shortly after got pregnant. Then for the sake of her child, she pulled back from the party lifestyle, but she couldn't shake her anger, which now she directed towards God. I could not understand why on earth he would, he would just let these things happen to me. Why all the pain and all the sorrow? But after she'd tried everything she could to numb her pain, she went to church with a friend. The pastor had done this sermon on hope in Christ, and it just spoke to me. I just remember sitting there going, I gotta do things different. I really knew that there had to be more. Even though I was angry with God, he was the only answer. So I, I had made that choice to trust Jesus. I had made that choice to really trust him. It was really a, a defining moment for me to realize that um, there is just a God, and you know, Jesus who, who will come to me down to my level and love me. And that kind of unconditional love, that's what I had been craving, the kind of unconditional love that you find in Christ. Today, Cynthia and her husband have a transformed marriage. They pray together and go to church on a regular basis. Cynthia is on good terms with her adoptive parents and even went back to school where she earned a degree in Christian counseling. Studying God's Word has helped her to process her pain and heal. You know, turning my pain over to Him is continual, but I had to really ask for forgiveness and then forgive myself. I have intrinsic value no matter what, just because God made me. 
I can honestly say this is the day the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad in it and mean it. It doesn't matter, you know, if I was adopted, God chose me to be born because he loves me, because he wants me.